Last week I mentioned uh, that Massa subnet. Now, I still haven't got, to be honest, I haven't actually um, spent that much time looking into Massa, or other than the fact that it's another DCG entity, which <laughs> is, it's just incredible how heavy DCG is going into the, the BitTent um, system, or uh, uh, ecosystem. So this is the, the massive BitTensor subnet. It's on testnet until I think the 23rd of July. So it's not a fully firing subnet just yet. But what Massa is, is it, they call it Fair AI. Um, so if you look at the token, ba, 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 ba. yeah, so they, it's got one and a half million users. Um, and it's more, it, basically they're trying to be the a decentralized version of Google. So it's a massive, massive uh, task. Whether they'll accomplish it or not, I'm not, not too fussed. But yeah, they're bringing 1.5 million users um, with them. And it's, yeah, I mean, this, this this article here is pretty old. They did a, a fundraise. So not this article, I've got two here. So this is in February where they were talking about they just did a, a fundraise I think their token sale lasted 17 minutes um, and I don't like the distribution. I, I, I tend to stick my nose up these days whenever I see anything that has, you know, uh, allocations. So it looks like, a, in my head, just another shitty coin. And it could be, I mean, but hey, it's, it's a subnet. It's not like a proper coin in itself or, or they're, they're treating it as though it is. Um, but it's got a big ecosystem and uh, yeah. DCG is behind this, like they are with so many other coins. They like they own Paxos, which makes stable coins. Um, they they own oh my mind's gone blank. But, but yeah, um, Grayscale is one of them. Um, Foundry, the world's biggest public miner. That yeah, they're all over the place. So that's good. That's pretty good news for the, the, the Bitcoin ecosystem. Yeah, they raised 5.4 million quid in 17 minutes, which is pretty fast. So that's that. Um, and the thing is, the, the, the founder of Massa is a guy called Brendan Playford. And he is an OG in the crypto space. So this is one of the things he said. As an early crypto builder and adopter who participated in Ethereum's ICO in 2014, BitTensor reminded me of Ethereum's ecosystem circa 2017, said Brendan Playford. Uh, while BitTensor is still in its early days, it has the potential to surpass Ethereum's growth, fueled by the rapid expansion of decentralized AI. DAI has the potential to become even bigger than Bitcoin. At Massa, we are integrating into BitTensor ecosystem to exponentially accelerate the development of decentralized AI with data serving as the new currency of fair AI. That's a pretty big comment, isn't it? So, I mean, he's literally saying what I've said for six months now, that the BitTensor ecosystem has created a brand new virgin landscape for for decentralized AI production uh, and innovation, just like Ethereum created a brand new virgin landscape for DAP production and innovation. So, <clears throat> yeah, I think Brendan and I are thinking similar things, but obviously he's gone one step further saying it has the potential to become even bigger than Bitcoin. Um, well, that well, that's decentralized AI as a whole, not BitTensor. But again, um, even if BitTensor is, you know, 10% of that, that's, that's pretty big. So I, I agree with him on this. And also, I, I like that he's attacking sort of the... One of the main components of AI, which not many people talk about. So when I look at AI, I think there's really two gross motor levers um, that are going to push AI. And that's compute power, which everyone fixates on. They go AI, AI, oh, compute, compute, because they see NVIDIA selling GPUs like Oxygen. Um, but the, the, the main component, the other main component is data. Like you need huge amounts of unique data points for AI. I think, did I talk about last week about the my analogy of having chefs all with the same ingredients? Yeah, it was last week where I said, you know, you've got all the world's best chefs, you give them, you know, four ingredients. They'll all make the same amount of different foods from Yorkshire puddings to pancakes, whatever. But if you just give one chef 
an extra fifth ingredient, that chef can make you know, 10, 20, 30 more dishes. Um, and it's the same with AI. They all have the same data at the moment. So those that have unique, um, unique data sets and better data it are going to massively uh, do well. So which, which is why when you look at you know, Subnet Alpha um, and look at a lot of the, the subnets here, a lot of them do focus on the, on the, on the tuning and the data side of it all. Um, so, but yeah. Um, and I made an error last week. I said, Will Squires has four subnets. He doesn't, he has five subnets. <laughs> I can't count. So yeah, Lewis pointed that out to me last week. So um, yeah, pretty crazy.